Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, and today I will be reviewing McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn. Todd McFarlane, the CEO of McFarlane Toys, created the Spawn comic book character all the way back in the 1990s, so it's no surprise that he's the head of the company that makes the toys of this guy, and that he's the one responsible for putting him in Mortal Kombat 11's DLC pack. In the same DLC pack at Spawn were Terminator, the Joker, Robocop, Melina, Rain, and several other MK11 bonus characters. As you can see here, Spawn is in his more modern redesigned outfit with no red detailing on the middle of the chest, just the white parts and a few spiky accessories on his gloves and boots. Well, mostly the right boot here, as you can see, with the massive ankle thing. There's actually a pretty impressive, very thin black paint wash across the cape and the red parts to give it a worn out look and to show off the detail of the creases in the sort of uh, leather like substance. For articulation, there's a ball joint of the neck for an expressive range of motion. Butterfly joints of the shoulders that are somewhat restricted by the molding, as well as universal in and out, up and down shoulders, bicep swivel, very stiff double elbow on my copy where it's hard to move properly because of the spikes on the forearm, wrist rotation, although McFarlane figures don't have removable or swappable hands like Marvel Legends and the Lightning Collection Power Rangers figures do, so don't try and take the hands off to swap different expressions, because not only does he not come with any, but you'll probably break the wrist in the process. Then there's also a ball joint and an ab crunch in the mid torso. Universal hips. Not much of a thigh swivel on this uh, figure because of the way that the torso is molded. And very stiff double jointed knees on this figure. It's still fresh out of the box relatively, so the joints are still a bit tough on this copy. Then, universal ankle tilt and a toe hinge. There's also this Mortal Kombat 11 figure display stand that comes with the figure, and it can plug into the holes on the bottom of its feet, like so. For size comparison, here he is with fellow Mortal Kombat 11 figures, Noob Cybot, and Sub-Zero. For those who don't know the origin of the Spawn character, he was a mercenary called Albert Simmons who worked for the villain Jason Nguyen for a while, but then he got killed in the middle of a mission and ended up resurrected in the ten layers of Mortal Kombat Hell by the demon Malaborgia, who was actually the cousin of the Dark Elder God Shinnok according to the MK11 intro dialogues. For those who don't know, this lightning piece on the sword is not actually part of Spawn's figure. It actually came from a Power Rangers lightning collection, Mighty Morphin Green Ranger from Wave 7 by Hasbro. I just added it to Spawn's sword because it looks Awesome on Spawn's sword because of the length of the blade and the fact that Spawn's normal superpowers are, you know, green energy blasts from a necroplasm of his suit, which is made for the condemned souls of the Nether Realm. But anyway, that wraps up my review. I have been Soundblaster1987. Join me next time when I'll be continuing my McFarlane figure reviews with Gold Label, Hellbat Armor, Batman. Till then, till all are one. And may the Elder Gods have mercy on your soul.